problems in there. People expect the, the fight to, to end real quickly, but the, I think he's very durable, and I think I've proven that I can take a punch or two myself. If we get hit, uh, we know how to take him, we know how to come back, and we're both in condition, so I think you're going to see a good 12-round fight. This is the time. But, uh, those weight divisions are basically the same. At the moment, this is being considered a non-title fight due to the legal involvements. And at the moment, the WBC is meeting on this very subject. But the fight is on, and that was not the case as late as this past Friday night. And with the fight on, let's go to the ring for the introductions. Here's Chuck Hall. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Caesars Palace Sports Pavilion, where today John Chargan Productions, in association with Caesars Palace, presents a 12-round contest of the People's Champions. These bouts are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The officials assigned by that commission this afternoon, the judges are Dwayne Ford, Lou Tabbitt, and Dave Moretti. The timekeepers, Charlie Roth and Jane Broadfoot. The attending physician at ringside, Dr. Flip Amansky. And the referee is Richard Steele. This is the main event of the afternoon. 12 rounds of boxing in the super featherweight division. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 129 and three quarter pounds. He has a professional record of 38 wins, three defeats. He is a former world champion and currently rated by the WBC as number one in his division. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the very popular Cornelius Boza Edwards. And in the red corner, fighting out of Oroville, California, weighing in at 129 and three quarter pounds, his professional record consists of 51 wins, six defeats, and one draw. He is the reigning WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, schoolboy Bobby Chacon. And you hear the reception for Bobby Chacon. Very popular, very colorful fighter out of California. All smiles in entering the ring. I want to caution you to obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, the fighter that is standing, go to the farther neutral corner. Remain there till I tell him to come out. You can use Vaseline, but use it very lightly. Shake hand. Good luck to both of you. Referee Richard Steele. We're scheduled for 12. 31-year-old Bobby Chacon. The WBC Super Featherweight Champ. His last fight last December. 15-round decision over Bazooka Limon, one of the great fights of the year to win the WBC title. Cornelius Pose Edwards, who we last saw here on NBC, he stopped Pedro Laza here in Las Vegas in round nine. That was back in February. And Pose Edwards, as you see, a southpaw in the white going up against Chacon in the red. In May of 81, Boza Edwards stopped Chacon after round 13, successfully defending his title. And Chacon says in that particular bout, oh, good right hand by Chacon. That bout, Chacon went for the early knockout. He said he would not do that here today or look to do it. And Chacon got tagged by Boza Edwards. They've both been tagging each other right now. There's been some very hard punches thrown. Boza has landed some uh, very sharp punches. Uh, Chacon, for his part, has landed one good punch, but it did not seem to bother Boza Edwards at all. Chacon seeming to take this fight very lightly at the beginning, laughing, smiling at the crowd. I think he's going to get very serious very shortly. A low blow. Boza sort of saying, uh-uh-uh, that wasn't nice. A criticism of both fighters is that they take too many punches. They both land, but also both get hit, as we've seen in this uh, opening round. Well, they have really been trading some very hard punches. 
Bozer in particular has found the range early. Bozer seems much more determined at the beginning of this fight. I don't think Bobby's woken up yet to the fact that he's in a title fight. Opening round with Bosa Edwards trapping Bobby Chacon in the corner. But Chacon not doing bad in the corner. He wants to stay there. And here's Chacon back. And he's stunned Bosa Edwards. There was some reason for Chacon to be in that corner. He was playing a boxy game there. And he came out hitting just where he wanted to. Opening first round, both men inflicting a considerable amount of damage in the first round. Right hand by Boza Edwards, answered by the Chicago right as we approach 10 seconds left in round one. That's a and uh, Richard Steele. Jim O'Brien and family recently lost their home. Today, they're getting... Controversial call by the referee, Richard Steele. Now, you see, there was a punch, but he had slipped down on a slick part of the canvas. Now, the referee didn't actually know what to call it. He looked over to the corner. They did call in a knockdown. Since Boza Edwards was ahead in that round, unofficially on my scorecard, it now makes it an even round. A very important round in uh, this fight. It's opened up with a lot of controversy, just like it has been all week long. And this is round two. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. Las Vegas, Nevada. And Jose Edwards on the attack. Got Bobby Chacon is looking to cover up. for some reason likes to fight off those ropes. He's not really getting hammered on the ropes by uh, Boza, and he apparently has a plan to counterattack. Look at that. All hooks. And also taking some shots. He's paying for it. Both these guys are burning themselves out in the earlier rounds. That's the only term you can use because they're going flat out. And this is exactly what Chacon said he would not look to do. Well, when you're getting hit by Bo's Edwards, you forget your plan and come back fighting. But that's the only way Bobby Chacon knows how to fight. Uh, he's getting whipped now by Bo's Edwards. Serious damage being inflicted by Bo's Edwards. Bad mistake by Chacon to stay there. Whether this is Chacon's plan, I really wonder, as again, he's trapped in the corner. Chacon taking two or three to land one. Some kind of a cut. He's got blood coming from a little nick on his eye, on his left eye. Something had to give. There were too many punches landing for something not to give, and his left eye has now got a cut. Bosa Edwards is relentless. There is virtually no movement in this fight. This is oh, right hand by Chacon. Second round. Do I smell roast duck? There to be in big trouble. We saw the nick under the eye that is being taken care of in the corner, but then he landed the right hand. Here it is. 
flush on the jaw. But that's the way Bobby Chacon fights, and that's the way Boza Edwards fights. Let's face it, Boza has no defense, and neither does Bobby Chacon, so anything can happen in any minute. Now, the bell for the um, opening of round three, Boza did not appear between rounds and to be uh, affected. They were not doing working very hard on him. He just came back from a flash knockdown on Chacon's corner. They were telling him, you're throwing too many punches. Start planning your fight. And Chacon said, that's the only way I can fight. So he had a slip in round one, an authentic knockdown in round two. Both rounds controversial. Oh, what an exchange. Boza taking another right hand flush on the nose. This one didn't seem to bother him, but boy, is he taking straight shots. by Boza Edwards and again Chacon in the corner he is consistently trapped in the corner this time able to spit out I don't know if he's trapped or if he falls back there and stays back because he thinks he can fight better off the ropes he certainly could have moved off before and he stays there now you know this fight does not figure to go the distance the way these two guys have started at this burnout pace, but if you're scoring the fight, you've got to be going crazy because Boza's taking this whole round and then goes down at the end. Uh, Richard Steele, the referee, says stop the pushing. The scoring on the 10-point must, that is if we do get involved in a scoring situation and the uh, scoring handle by the three judges, the referee does not take part. Three knockdown rule in effect. And the bell does not save the fighter except in the final round. So no matter what you have seen right now, what your eyes are... Oh, oh look at him! And Chacon put down, but he, he's indicating that he's all right. Same kind of flash knockdown. Same kind of flash knockdown. He's not hurt. He's laughing. In fact, looking over at us as if to say, I'm all right. He's an actor, Bobby Chacon. He is an actor. He's playing to his audience. Now, that's the third time that either Bosa Edwards or Chacon has gone down. The first one, though, did appear to be a slip. Bosa Edwards finding the range with that right jab. And Bosa Edwards with those knife-like punches. And they end with the flow. That straight left hand that put down Chacon. He caught him completely off balance, and there it was. He went down, it was a flash knockdown. He was up in a minute, and no problem. Back to the action. And this is round four. Again, the chat of Bobby for Bobby Chacon who over his 11-year career has been ripped off his finish many times, but has continually come back. Chacon launching an all-out attack in spite of the fact that his corner told him, take it easy, box some, you're burning yourself out. And again, the referee Richard Steele with the warning about the shove by Bosa Edwards. Believe it or not, curiously enough, this is an even fight. Boza down in the first, Boza down in the second, Chacon down in the third, and it's a 29-29 fight. Keep those hands up. Unofficially, of course, on my scorecard, Boza has been inflicting the heavier damage. Bobby Chacon, that cut over his eye, has not become a factor. Great corner work. And he came out looking very fresh in this fourth round. Not the case in the earlier round. Bobby Chacon, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion, Cornelius Bosa Edwards, the former champion and ranked number one contender. Chacon, who had plastic surgery to his nose, not being bothered by his nose right now. That plastic surgeon can take a great deal of pride in his work because he's been hammered right on the nose by over 100 hard punches. 
we're past the halfway point. Fourth round, scheduled for 12. There he is again, Bobby Chacon in a corner. He just seems to like it there. Good, solid right hand, another solid right hand by Bose Edwards. And Chacon back following the Bose Edwards uppercut. Oh, right hand by Bosa Edwards again on target. All the hooks that Bosa wants to throw are landing, and uppercuts are landing as well. What is keeping little Bobby Chacon together? I don't know. It has been non-stop from the opening bell. Bosa Edwards and Chacon have gone down. Bobby Chacon, 31 years old, out of Los Angeles, California, against the 26-year-old Cornelius Bosa Edwards from Uganda. We'll be back in a moment. The bell that concluded in round four, extracurricular action. This is all after the bell, and the referee, Richard Steele, really had a job to uh, hold the two away and then uh, both apologize. We are now on to round five. Bobby Chacon in the red. Cornelius Bosa Edwards in the white. Both have been knocked down. Right at the bell, ending that round. When they kept fighting, Bosa had gotten stung and buckled. That's why the fighting continued. And so, Bobby Chacon opened this round. Oh, he's bleeding from the, Bobby's bleeding from the nose. That part that we had just spoken about last round has begun to cave in. Good, strong punching by Bobby Chacon to open this round. You can take a look now as you, as you see the damage that's being inflicted by Boza Edwards. Chacon, lying down this now because it's doubtful of his face can take this kind of punishment for 12 rounds. From the way he's pawing at his nose, I believe he's got difficulty with his nose. If it's not broken, it certainly gives him a lot of pain. Back again in the corner. Again to the place where he likes to fight. Bobby Chacon. No shortage of bravery. He's in there trading with Bose Edwards. Chacon has been effectively slipping in this fifth round. Back in May of 1981, that was two years ago here in Las Vegas, Chacon gave everything he had. His legs quit before his heart did and could not make it out of the corner for round 14 against Boza Edwards. And then tragedy struck the Chacon family. His wife, Valerie, who had been pleading with Bobby to retire from boxing, committed suicide about a year ago. Bobby left with three children. Still the dream of a championship, and he then proceeded to pull off one of the storybook comebacks in boxing history, climaxed by the victory over the Zuka LeBron to win the title. Great fighting off the ropes by Bobby Chacon, who's been getting hammered. There goes the mouthpiece. Hard to tell who that was. It's Bobby Chacon's mouthpiece. He's looking like he's wearing out, although he's dangerous in spurts. And again, we finish with the floor. Round five coming to a conclusion. We'll be back in 30 seconds to check out Chacon's corner. Seven quarter. They're more worried about the eye than the nose, although they have put a pad of adrenaline up his nose. They're working very hard. They seem to be very calm in the corner. Both cornermen, Joe Ponce, Will Edgington, have been working. It looks like they've got the corner, I mean, the eye completely under control. The nose is no longer bleeding, but Will, as soon as this fight starts. And this is round six. Referee Richard Steele. Had a very tough five rounds. Blood. Oh, combination by Chacon. 
Chacon seems to catch Mose Edwards at the beginning of these rounds. A blood pouring down the right side of the face of Chacon. Combination by Mose Edwards. It's a question of physical stamina from here on in. No question about it. Both men are beginning to wear out. Now the right side of Bobby Chacon's brow is beginning to bleed. That means he has cuts over the right and left, and he has trouble with his nose. Nobody can take this kind of punishment without having some type of injury inflicted. Unless Bobby Chacon can get very lucky. With Moza Edwards, the handwriting is on the wall. was too soon after that devastating fight with Bazooka Lamone, and it might well be. Crowd urging Chacon on, but has not been able to land much. Again, uh, the push by Boza Edwards. Halfway through round six. The difference is that Boza is a non-stop punching machine, whereas Chacon is trying to get in his one or two lucky shots. Not much on that last combination thrown by Chacon. You almost wonder how there could be anything left. The right eye is now bleeding badly. The cut is now... Oh, see, that's that... That was that slick spot where Boza Edwards slipped in the first round. And it gave Chacon an opportunity to clear the blood from his right eye. He could not see. Slippery canvas again. Bosa Edwards had a problem. Bobby Chacon needs a miracle to win this fight. It's only in the sixth round, but the result is written on his face already. Watch your head, watch your head inside. All right, we're going to stay right here. We're going to stay with it and check out the corner of Bobby Chacon between rounds. No, hold him, no, hold him. Bobby Chacon's face, a mask of love. As he gets back to the corner, Joe Ponce and Will Edgerton, Frank Williams, very serious. Here comes a commission doctor to look in. Very serious decision to be made. Let's listen. All right. Close your eyes, right? You hear me? That's going to stop that. Close your eyes. That doctor just said if this keeps on going, we're going to stop it. What he's saying is you've got one more round, son, and after that, it's curtains. That's the ringside position, Dr. Flip. Stop it. No. Yeah, he'll stop it. Huh? No, no, stop no, the no, fight. No, he'll stop, he'll stop the fight. He'll stop yeah. the fight. Referee uh, Richard Steele also uh, asked, you want to stop the fight? And, uh, well, that was not well received. Clipping, Bobby. He's he's still, he's, he's, this is, this is a very severe fight for him, and he feels like he can get lucky with one punch. He deserves one round. Now, the opening of this round should be a blitzkrieg. All right, this is round seven. It's scheduled for 12. Chacon went down earlier. Jose Edwards was put down earlier. Chacon has to go for the knockout. Enough, Boza Edwards is unmarked. Watch the elbow, watch the elbow. Watch the elbow. Again, the water for Boza Edwards. And the round is not even started, and Chacon is bleeding from both brows and the nose. He doesn't even like, look like he's got that much on his punches when he throws it. Well, we saw that in a series of combinations last round. Looks like uh, his energy level has diminished. Fierce fight, but the last two rounds, I'm afraid, have been all Boza Edwards. The weight of that attack is so much that I don't believe it's fair to ask Chacon to take much more. And uh, Richard Steele apparently uh, 
wants to get a closer look at Bobby Chacon, and here comes Dr. Hermansky. It would not be... He's going to let it go, but he won't let it go much longer is what he said. That means this is the last round of this fight. So they resume about a minute 15 in round seven, and it's desperation time for Bobby Chacon, which means he could get caught. And it's no wonder why both Edwards is fighting with him, because all he's got to do is mark time, and this fight is his. Chacol, the WBC super featherweight champion, although at the moment this is considered a non-title bout. The WBC meeting on that matter right now. And number one contender, Cornelius Boza Edwards. And for Bobby Chacol, it may mean just one minute left to turn this around. That will depend on the doctor as he checks Chacon out in the corner if this round does go the duration. He's back in his favorite corner, and I must say it's cost him his fight. Get out, get out. Fight because Boza has dominated the corner action. So the time running down. That's time left. And we're down to 30 seconds, round seven. on the punches of Chacon. But still dangerous, Mark. Still dangerous. We're going to stay right here between rounds Watch out, to see what takes place in the corner of Chacon. One wonders why both is fighting in that way, knowing that all he's got to do is survive this round. All right, now the... The pressure is on the ringside position. All right, let's take a listen. All right, I talked to his doctor. We don't let it go. Mm -hmm. right, but just yeah, you keep on. You want it? You want to keep fighting? Yeah. He's all right, Doc. He's, yeah, it's, he's, it's he's all right. He'll be all right. What the heck? He'll be all right. All right, get something more than that. Dr. Hamansky pulling away from his initial observation. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. I, it, both eyes are ripped. His nose is bleeding. And while his cornermen are brave, and no question about it, Jacone is very brave. And this is a very tough fight, but he's so far behind. And they gave him one round to do what he wanted to, and he couldn't. I really, really would like to see this fight stop right now, Mark. We're working a little closer. We're working a little closer. All right, we are headed for round eight on the Fight Doctor scorecard. Cornelius Boza Edwards in front. 69 to 65. It is on the 10-point bus system here in the state of Nevada. So again, Chacon in a situation where he needs a knockout. And Bosa Edwards comes right at Chacon as we open up. Bobby Chacon at this moment looks the same way he did in the late rounds when he was beaten by Bosa Edwards two years ago. Yeah, well, he's just reaching the limits of his endurance, I think. Watch your head. You know, he's always dangerous. Bobby's always dangerous, as he proved with Bazooka Limon. But he is um, much older now. That beating was a pretty bad beating five months ago, and he really doesn't need much more. That's the beating, although in a uh, victorious manner, to win the title. 15-round decision over Bazooka Limon. Well, unfortunately, your body and your brain don't know that. And the trunks of Boza Edwards. Full of the blood of Bobby Chacon. And again, a timeout. I don't know. I don't know about this. That many timeouts, that many things. I mean, what do they need? Let's listen. What's he asking him? Does he want to still fight for? I'm all right. You're all right. He's all right. I can't see that. I can't see that. What is a doctor asking a boxer if he still wants to fight? What does he think he's going to say? No. Especially a man of the valor and proven ability of Bobby Chacon. All they're giving Chacon is a lot of rest and a lot of time. And Bosa Edwards on the attack. 
Boza does not relent. He continues to come on. And Chacon with the combination. And the crowd coming alive. It's been a Chacon crowd. There's the doctor, Flip Fernandez, ringside position. than a minute left. And this, the eighth round. You marvel at, marvel at the courage of Bobby Chacon, but you marvel at the fact that they're letting him continue with his face falling apart. Those are Edwards beginning to show some signs of being tired. Well, he should. He's done everything there is over the last seven rounds. He needs one round to rest. And we're final seconds. Eighth round. We'll be back right after we pause for these words. This is the last round for you. We're on it. Okay. You better get We're on it. Dr. Brevator Creech, a plastic surgeon who stepped in to take charge. And well, he should have. He said one more, and that's plenty. But they told him once more two rounds ago. This is round nine, and Bobby Chacon has taken a thrashing from Cornelius Boza Edwards. Both Boza Edwards and Chacon have gone down. Richard Steele has called several timeouts, but has chosen to go to the uh, corner and ask the uh, advice of the doctor rather than stop the fight. Yes, I thought the referee had the power to stop it, but he will not. Now here comes Chacon fighting back. Also, there's been no use of the standing age count. Which is in effect in the state of Nevada. Well, he's been using a timeout, which has taken more than eight seconds. Yes, he's been giving him a lot of rest. That's the ringside position. Dr. Hernandez looking on. Dr. Hernandez has been listening to Dr. Creech. Thank goodness that he has, because this should be the last round of this fight, unless Chacon gets extremely active and lucky. Of course, that's the rationale of those who will say, well, why stop it? He still can fight. You look at the flurry right here, but people who say that are not thinking about the long term damage. Yeah, we're talking about the health of Bobby Chacon, who this may be his last fight. He has three children. He has a mountain of money now he doesn't need to risk his health. But here he comes back. At this moment, it's an academic point, but Boza Edwards is totally in control of the fight. Less than a minute left. Ninth round. It's scheduled for 12. But if you can believe, and they have changed the course of direction several times, if you can believe the last corner conference, it was said again that this will be the final round. We'll see. But here's to call back strong. Oh, and Jose Edwards slip. A no, knockdown. not a knockdown. A slip. Definitely a slip on that same part that he slipped in before. To on. That's what's going to make it so difficult to stop this fight. Bobby's always full of life at the end. This crowd will not react well if the bout is stopped. And let me this round. He slipped. He slipped again. They're both exhausted. Their legs are not holding up under them. Bose's legs are wobbly now, even though he's been winning. All right, this is going to be interesting. Now, this is going to be interesting. That's what I said. As we listen in on the corner. Uh, he's not even bleeding no more. Come on. It's crazy. It's it's stop. Get your ass in here, yeah. right. well, boy. The quarterback said he's not even bleeding at him. And Creech gave a medical opinion. He said, get your ass in gear. All right. Okay, I want to let go. Look up at me. Look down. Look down. Look over here. Look over at me. See your phone or what's that? He's all right. Get his water bottle. See you. Go. 
The doctor has been examining his eyes with an ophthalmoscope to see if he's reacting, if there's any brain damage, if there's any kind of damage at all. He doesn't see any, and by golly, they're going to let it go. What can he tell here off a simplistic observation concerning brain damage? He can't at all, anything. So, the bout continues. Round 10. And uh, obviously, enormous pressure on the part of the, uh, the medical people to stop a bout with Chacon coming back. Well, blow, according to uh, Bosa Edwards, but uh, the referee did not pick it up. Chacon at this moment looking fresher than Bosa Edwards. I really don't think either fighter looks fresh. I think it's whoever's going to wilt first. No question, Chacon's having his best round for the last four or five. Looked like a low blow again by Chacon. And Chacon is having difficulty seeing out of the left eye. He's battling it now. Moses having trouble controlling his legs. Moses' legs have been wobbled. What a turnaround by Chacomo. Look at Chacomo. He can't even keep his hands up. He's so tired, he can't even put his hands up. Look at this. Even on the attack, even on the attack, Bozer's legs are wobbling. Exhausted. That's the halfway mark, round 10 of a fight that will prompt much discussion for weeks to come. Bobby Chacon, 31 years old, Los Angeles, California, long-time veteran, 51 and 6, 42 knockouts, looking to have is the WBC Super Featherweight champ going against the former champ, 26-year-old Cornelius Boza Edwards out of Uganda, now living in England. A man who beat Chacon two years ago, and it's been a bloodbath most of the way here today. Oh, Chacon is a mess right now. Volkswagen announces. All right, as both come out for round 11, let's listen to some of the con work in the corner of Bobby Chacon between rounds. He's only got, he's only got two more rounds. He's, he's ahead. So why stop him? Why stop it, the cornerman said, talking to the uh, ringside physicians. Now the pressure on the, uh, the doctors to stop it right here. Had they decided earlier, they might have gotten away with it, but the crowd has gotten behind Chacon, and I get the feeling that they're pressured by the support for Chacon. I think so, and I and I also think that uh, they're being calmed by the corner. The guy says, we're ahead. Well, if he's ahead, I don't know what fight they're watching, but he's so far behind, he needs a knockout. And here's the crowd again, chatting for Chacon. It was also pointed out in Chacon's corner that uh, Boza Edwards' legs are very wobbly, that he has nothing going, but uh, both have little punching power. Well, there's no question that Boza's legs are going. Boza's legs are going, but Chacon's face is gone. similar to the bout two years ago here in Las Vegas between the two in which Bobby Chacon was stopped at the end of round 13. He could not come out for round 14. 
It was non-stop action then, too. Bobby landing some lucky sucker punches just then. As long as Moe's Edwards isn't punching, he's wide open. Less than a minute left. Round 11. This is scheduled for 12. Continues to fight with the hands down, actually conserving energy as he tries to load up. But all his hands down are doing for him is catching punches right in the face. But one good shot and Boza Edwards could go down. That's why they don't want to stop him. I would think it very unlikely that this bout would be stopped at this point, particularly in that Chipotle has had a good round. Right. We'll be back with the 12th and final in just a moment. And final round, Marv Albert, the fight doctor, Bernie Pacheco, Las Vegas, Nevada. And the doctors did not even make an appearance between rounds in the corner of Bobby Chacon. And in the corner of Chacon, they were telling him, you've got this fight. Of course, you never know now that uh, there is the possibility of a decision, the scoring on the 10-point loss. The fight doctor scorecard has to home trailing in the bout, but we shall see if it does go the distance. You don't know how they counted those first two knockdowns of Chacon if they counted at 10-8. You just don't know. But I would say that Boza Edwards is safely ahead on points. And here's Chacon putting Boza Edwards down. And nearly landed face first on our left what this crowd has been waiting for. Here comes Bobby. Two minutes remaining. Twelfth and final round. And nope. Chacon encouraged by that last knockdown. Has he got the strength to finish Boza? And has Boza got the strength to take it? Chacon now looking to reach back for everything. Boza has nothing. Boza has nothing. He has nothing on his punches. He's got to survive a minute 34 without any punching power and no legs. And slipping all over the ring is Boza Edwards. That's because his legs are playing a trick on him. It's slippery. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of water on the canvas. Bobby thinks he's got to fight one now. He's even doing a little alley shuffle. Boza Edwards nearly went down. That was more of a slip. He has no legs. Here comes Chacon. All right, less than a minute left. Twelfth and final round. Bobby has this fight right in his hands, and he doesn't know it. It should have been stopped rounds ago, but there's Bobby. Boza has nothing. Those are taps to the cheeks of Chacon. He must not know how close he is to knocking out both Edwards. You see the time running down. 25 seconds remaining. And it may be that Chacon, oh, low, low. It may be that Chacon still does need the knockout. I don't think he thinks so because his corner has been telling him he's ahead. And now with this big knockdown, it's a 10 8 round. It really is going to be close now. Final seconds of the bout, and what a gutty performance by Bobby Chacon. And the crowd reacts. It appeared that the bout could have been stopped on several occasions, as you were requesting. Earlier, but as we said, when you look back later on, the rationale will be if it does go the distance as it did. Uh, those who say, Well, how can you stop the bout in such a situation? Those who have that opinion will say, Look, Chacon went the distance. Absolutely, it's one of those things where you got to decide what's better the safety of the fighter or the outcome of the ring of the uh, fight. 
This has been a typical Bobby Chacon fight. Have Boza had 115, 113, but that last knockdown was extremely important. All right, so we await the word from the judges, Wayne Ford, Lou Tobbitt, and Dave Moretti will be back with the decision in a moment. But right now, let's go to Los Angeles and more of the U.S. UCLA the officials up. Back in Las Vegas, we are set for the decision. Was it Bobby Chacon or Cornelius Boza Edwards? Let's go to the ring. Here's Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges. Judge Dwayne Ford scores 115, 113. Judge Lou Tabbitt scores 115, 112. Judge Dave Moretti scores 117, 111. For the winner and still super featherweight champion of the world, Bobby Jacob. Bobby Chacon with the decision over Cornelius Boza Edwards. Fight Doctor's scorecard had it. Boza Edwards, 115-113. We'll be back to uh, get into that subject in just a moment. Back in Las Vegas, Nevada, Marv Albert with Bertie Pacheco. Bobby Chacon by decision in a dramatic come from behind effort over Cornelius Boza Edwards. Let's go to the ring. Here's Ferdy. Congratulations. That might have been the fight of the year this far. I must tell you both, Marv Albert and I were very worried about your safety. We both were hoping that they would stop the fight for your safety. You proved us wrong. You came back and you won the fight. But uh, we were kind of worried. I personally thought we, on our scorecard, Boza had won. However, you won unanimously on all scorecards. And I think that last round pulled it out for you. Last knockdown to everyone. Well, hey, it's tough fight. You say battle of the year. Me and Bozo, he's just a top conditioner. And damn, I got a lot of guys. I, I, I want to win, you know. Like I said before, I want to win. And Bozo was trying to take it away from me. I'm glad I had some reserve. I, you know, with the mix-up with the legal problems, I wasn't sure about this thing. Thanks to Mickey Duff, this thing came through for us. Thanks to Mick, Mickey Duff, indeed. Now, Boza, I felt like your legs were going on you in the end. You worked so hard the first ten rounds. I felt the last two rounds, your legs were going on you. Yeah, the legs were going, but the fact was that the uh, boots I've got on, they were kind of slippery. And uh, I presume they cost me the fight, you know. It wasn't really the legs, it was that the boots kept on slipping. All right. Every time I was... I Mickey Duff, the man uh, probably most instrumental in bringing this fight about, did you feel that the fight should have been stopped because of the uh, increasingly... Uh, D uh, damaged face of Chacon. Well, he, he certainly looked very badly cut. Uh, the doctor had a closer look than me, and they obviously decided he could go on. That at times, I thought he was bleeding very badly, but that's not our decision. That's the decision for the doctor. And so, to the, dis to the man whose decision it is, let's go to Marv Albert at ringside, who's sitting with the ring doctor. All right, and this is uh, Dr. Flip Hermansky, and we felt that you were talked out of stopping the bout on a couple of occasions. You were about to go in there and say, that's it. Never was I about to stop the fight. The whole point here was that...